Yo, what's up beautiful people? Thank you so much again for stopping by to the team of Brian. If you're new to our channel, do it as we do it. Can you do subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button? Join our community and I'm really going to appreciate. So guys, today in our video, according to the title, we want to talk about the skilled jobs in Qatar. How do I want to categorize this? We have not skilled jobs and skilled jobs. Hope you understand, you know, uh, that uh, difference. Uh, the, the, the difference between the two like the skilled and unskilled so i want to talk about the skilled jobs there are a lot of people who have been asking me about the skilled jobs talk of working in a like a, a oil company uh working in um the the, the, the the aluminium company working in um you know those fields that need your skill and uh, you have to be qualified or you have to be trained to work on those uh, field and like others i could say like customer service in Qatar or recruiting to Qatar doesn't really need much of our skills like all you have the qualification or something to work as a security in Qatar does not need like a lot of qualification and all those guys so why it is very difficult to get skilled jobs in Qatar for example working in a hospital as a nurse working in um, the aluminium companies I've talked about the, 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 the petroleum companies why it's very difficult to be for example let me start like with a nurse in Qatar you know, Qatar has a major hospital, the main hospital called Hamadi uh, Hospital and other hospitals around the private hospitals and all those things. Now, why it is very difficult to make it from like Africa, you are a Kenyan, why is it very difficult for you to be a nurse in Qatar or a qualified nurse in Qatar despite all the qualification or anything? Number one, they will, the qualification on, um, maybe you are trying to apply, they will, the, to apply those jobs, they will look at into three major things. Number one, they will look at your language. Do you speak Arabic or Hindi? Yeah, mostly is Arabic or Hindi. Do you, uh, yeah, another thing that they, they will look at mostly is, again, your religion, which is going to matter, Muslims or all those things, but mostly language is going to uh, be a barrier to you because they're, ask, they're going to ask you, do you speak English, do you speak Arabic, do you speak uh, what we call uh, Hindi? So those are the things that they're going to look at. So uh, to work in Qatar as a nurse, or most people work in Qatar as nurses, they are Indians and Arabics. Arabics, they can be from Tunisia, Morocco, Egypt, um, I've seen some from Sudan and Somalia, but mostly, no, no, I've not seen from Somalia that much, but mostly are the Indians and the Arabs. So if you're not coming from the Arab nations, it may be a struggle for you to work as a nurse. However, you may work as an assistant nurse. Though, still, you have to go through some uh, training and uh, sessions and all those things for you to make it there, and it's a very very long process that will be determined by your luck honestly it's purely determined by luck steel company let's go to steel petroleum and all those things now for you to work as a high position or maybe you're qualified in your country you you can do all those things uh you've done system engineering and all those things i've seen africans work on those fields yeah i've seen people from ghana i've seen people from nigeria uh uh, uh nigeria I've seen people from even Kenya working in the oil oil companies and oil industries. You are going to be in Qatar for very long time for you to, you know, get the links and connections and the adequate information and to know where to start from and how to reach there. But for a start, fresh from either Kenya or Uganda, you know, you can't make it to top of the steel companies. It's going to be almost impossible for you. Talk about so the petroleum and all those things. However, they're going to give you the non-skilled jobs like security, uh, cleaning, and all those in those companies. You may be skilled, you may have the whole the qualification, but it's going to be very difficult for you to get into those fields. It may need you or require you to stay in Qatar for the longest time possible, say seven years, eight years. If you ask all those people working in those companies who have you know established themselves, they have the positions, they have stayed in Qatar for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, I'm sure you're not ready for that. So for skilled jobs, another thing that I want to talk about is uh, other jobs. For example, you, you're becoming a hotel manager, you're becoming a, a restaurant manager, you're becoming a, a, all those, you know, name them, those jobs, you know, that require, have heavy salary and require very heavy qualifications. Unfortunately, again, language is going to be a barrier for you. Uh, religion is going to be a barrier for you. And yeah, it's language and the religion that you're coming from. Because qualification number one is going to be, are you an Arabic speaker? 
do you speak Hindi? Those are the kind of qualifications, unfortunately. Because of why? You may ask me, like, it's not India. Why are you asking? Or it's not from uh, yeah, the Indian countries. Why are they asking me to know India? A huge population in Qatar consists of Qatar, Dubai, Bahari, name them. They consist of Indians, which are, we, who, who, may, or who, who make the, 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 the largest or the biggest population in uh, those countries. We have the Bengalis, the Nepalese, and the Sri Lankas. They all speak Hindi. Like, for example, in Qatar, we have almost a million Indians. We have almost 500,000 uh, Nepalese. We have almost 100,000 plus say, Sri Lankans. We have um, 600,000 plus uh, Nepalese. So these communities, they both speak Hindi. Hope you are getting me, guys. So Hindi and Arabic, of course, other nations name them Egyptians, Qataris, uh, Saudis, uh, Tunisians, uh, Moroccans. Uh, all those countries, uh, other countries or other expatriates in Qatar, they speak Arabic. So, if you calculate the two languages that are widely spoken in Qatar is Hindi, Arabic, then English. So, it's going, the qualification of those languages is going to limit you a lot in terms of getting all the skilled jobs and all those things. Now, the non-skilled jobs, which, which are highly marketable in Qatar, name them security, cleaners, um, housekeeping, um, waiter, waitress, waiter, waitress, I may say it's a skilled job, but to the Middle East countries, they don't really require you to be skilled or anything, no. Anybody can get those jobs, because what most living companies do, they recycle, they are cleaners, they tell them, if you can work as waitress, you get trained in a day or two, you qualify to be a waiter, and you start working, you create your CVs, you can even line a CV, but that's why it comes in and skilled, skilled. Skilled jobs, you may not lie in your CV, but non skilled, you can lie in your CV. I've worked here as a waiter, as a waitress, I've worked here as a waiter. All those, you know, nobody's going to really care or look into that background. There are things that you can do without training. Now, in other jobs, they can put you anywhere. They don't really care of the language or anything, no. But the skilled jobs, that is why, well, that is where the language comes in, the religion comes in, and it's going to limit you a lot. So if you have a question, guys, you people have been asking me from, from for this advice. I really tried to narrow down and talk the truth from my heart, from my experience, from what I've passed through in Qatar. It's going to be very difficult as a skilled job. So you need high quality experience. They are going to you are going to stay in Qatar or Dubai or Emis, those are Gulf countries for longer time, so that you can achieve your dream of becoming uh, what you want in Qatar. However, I can advise you to start from somewhere. You know. You can't wait for all these years to get yourself to Qatar. If you can start even as a security officer, you can, you know, go up step by step, climb the ladder and get yourself in hospital, working as a nurse, following all the things, doing the trainings, starting becoming an assistant nurse or a caregiver somewhere. You climb up, you do some, you know, test and qualification here. By the time now you present your qualifications to the higher authorities, they're going to be like, yeah, this person is qualified. Why not? We can give him a job. And by then you could be, you know, uh, talking uh, or getting some few words in Arabic. You can say two or three words. You can even say hi in Arabic. And uh, you can understand Hindi, you can learn how to handle those people. So it's never too late, guys. Kindly, you can start from somewhere so that uh, you can reach your dream when you want. Thank you so much, Kate, for stopping by to the team. Brian, if you have any query, ask me on that number put on that screen there. Thank you for, so much for watching. See you in my next video.